Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can create multiple AWS CLI profile on a single machine and how we can use that. So for this demo what I am going to do is I am going to create multiple users and I am going to configure both the user on my machine and for both the users I am going to provide different permissions so that we can actually check. So let's start with the demo so I am in my IAM profile right now here I need to go to the user and I need to create couple of users so the first user I am going to create the name of the user is profile 1 I will go with the programmatic access attach existing policy for profile 1 what I am going to do is I am going to give S3 full access so that this user is able to call the S3 API calls next next create user now this is something important once you create a user you need to download this file and why you need to download this file because the secret key you will get it only one time if you are not going to download this file and you forget to uh, you know document somewhere the secret key you will not get this secret key again so that means you need to create a new key pair a uh, new access key and the secret key so make sure you download this file as of now I'm not going to download I'm going to mention it my notepad somewhere or uh, okay let me do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure two profiles so this is my terminal and the command I need to give AWS configure here I need to give profile name now this profile name could be anything so I'm going to give profile one for this user okay now it is asking me okay there is no space in between profile oh i'm so sorry profile and then the name this is going to be profile one or rather we can say user one or whatever you want to call it now it is asking for the access key so from here i will get the access key let me copy it now the secret key here I have the secret key let me copy this thing paste it here now the default region name and the default name region name is US East 1 I'm in North Virginia right now so let me give US East 1 default output format I'm going with the default option that is the JSON that's okay now this user has access to S3 okay now let me close this thing let me create one more user and this time the username is going to be profile 2 programmatic access next permission here I'm not going to attach any of the policy to this user so that means this user will not have any access right now now let me create a user again uh, we need to download this file which is very important but I'm not going to download I'm going to configure it on, on my terminal so the command is same AWS configure profile and this time I'm going to use user 2 now it is asking me for the access key paste secret key let me copy it from here default region name again this is going to be US East 1 done we are done now let me call some API function so AWS S3 LS now here I need to give the profile name so how to give profile user 1 this is something I need to give if I'm not going to give my default profile will work so let's see yes I'm able to call the API functions from user 1 because user 1 has access to the S3 bucket and that is the reason user 1 is able to call all those things now let's try the same command with user 2 I'm getting an error message so that means on my single machine on my single terminal both the users are configured correctly just that at the end we need to use this thing and let's suppose if I'm not going to use this thing what will happen it is going to take the default profile which is 
unable to locate credentials so that means i have not configured my default profile and if i need to configure my default profile i just need to go with aws configure i don't have to provide this profile function okay with this you are able to log in with multiple users you are able to work with multiple users multiple users have different permission you can work with those okay i hope you like this video if you like this video do subscribe like this thank you